one of my biggest fears, because I had so many, <laughs> before pregnancy, during pregnancy, when the baby was born, there were so many fears about bonding, about attaching, about just, you know, will my daughter love me? How will this all like be when she's finally here? And the one thing I, I can confidently say is that all mothers bond with their babies. They just sometimes bond at different times and in different ways, right? Many women for many years who've shared genetics with their children have had trouble bonding, right? So if that does happen to you, just know that it's not the genetics. It's just a thing. It's just a thing that, that, that mothers go through. For me, personally, I was bonded the moment that embryo was placed inside of me. The moment they gave me that picture of her, a little tiny embryo, I, I, I had tears. I thought, gosh, this is my baby. This is her. This is it. And I've never wavered on that ever since. Um, I, I wanted to do everything I could to protect her while I was pregnant, and I still do today. Um, I still sleep in bed with her <laughs> almost every night. She's four years old. We have a very strong bond. Um, and that started in the womb. And I, and I always talk about how grateful I am that I got to carry her because it's such a unique experience and it's such a privilege, honestly. And being able to know her energy, for her to know my inner energy for nine months, for her to hear my voice, my laugh, my sneeze, my burps. <laughs> Like she, the moment she came out, she knew exactly who I was, my mama. Um, and we had this very intense soul connection, like just like we've known each other a thousand years or many, many lives. Um, and I think that is a testament to my mindset. Um, Cause I think with donor egg, you know, journeys, process, the, the pregnancies, I think it's really, really important that you have a certain mindset because I think it's really easy to focus on what we're losing, right? Um, Cause there are things, <laughs> plenty of things that we're losing in this process, but there's so much more that you're gaining so much more. And once I was able to make that shift and again, it did not happen overnight. It did not happen easily. It did not happen without kicking and screaming and crying and being angry and depression and all of it. Um, you can watch some of my other videos <laughs> about that. Cause I was definitely there. But I think once you go through that really hard stuff and truly it, it could break you, it definitely broke me. Um, but it put me back together in this most amazing, like beautiful version of myself. And I get emotional thinking about that because like I wouldn't have her hadn't I gone through this and she's truly my like everything. She is my soul child. She's my best friend. She's my joy. She's my sunshine on a rainy day. I mean, she's literally my everything. Um, and people will ask like, well, how, how do you know that you will love this child like you would if had they had your genetics? And you know what? I don't know that because I didn't have a child with my genetics. But I do know that the bond that we have is something totally miraculous, it's something totally out of this world. Nothing I've ever experienced with anyone, not my husband, not my best friend. Um, she's truly the child that was meant for me. And I had to go through that really hard stuff to become the best version of me that I can be for her. Um, but back to the mindset, I think some of the things that helped me were learning about epigenetics, um, which I've talked about before. Um, it's the idea that your environment affects or influences genes. So, you know, no, she does not have my genes. <clears throat> she does not have my DNA. But my environment, which started in the womb, um, helped shape who she would become. And we continue to do that every day. Every day we live together, we sleep together, we are, are together. Um, that is her environment and that's the nurture that comes into play and such a beautiful positive thing um, that without her having my DNA, I still see so many parts of myself in her, which is so amazing. Um, there's also a thing called fetal microchimerism, which is the idea that the baby cells live with you, um, even babies that you miscarried 
for decades um, and, and vice versa. She has some of my cells too. So um, it, some research has shown that those cells have been known to help heal the mother. And I truly believe that. I mean, she's healed me in so many ways um, just by having her inside my body and now in, uh, just in my life.